Update 2.1.17 is now live, and I'm going to be going over everything that is available in this update, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome back to another video. So, update 2.1.17 is now live for Godfall, and it is a hefty, hefty file to download. It's like 617 megabytes. It actually goes pretty fast on the PlayStation 5, all things considered. Now, real quick, I am going to be reading off every single thing in this update. So this video is going to be long. However, if you guys wanna know all the details about the update, I will put it down in the description box below. That way you guys can actually read it for yourself. Or if you guys wanna go ahead and watch some gameplay while I go over this update, by all means, go ahead and do so. So as you know, this update is coming from the developers. It says, Godfall update 2.1.17. Thank you to amazing Godfall community for your support since release. We also wanted to express a warm welcome to all the new players that have joined us since the recent EU, which is Europe, launch of the PlayStation 5s as well. Please continue to provide us with feedback as we are continuing to monitor and address various issues while working toward future updates. Update 2.1.17 is now available for both the PC and PlayStation 5 versions of Godfall. This update includes a wide array of bug fixes, stability improvements, and continued optimization. Now I will say this, there are a lot of issues that have been solved in the game since launch, and we are going to go over those. So, in the general notes, and this pertains to all platforms, they saw various collision issues across the realms where players could get stuck or clipped through the world. They solved an issue with new accounts causing a hitch of VFX when displayed for the first time, and that's pretty much shuttering. They solved an issue where Shirty, which is the augment, the legendary augment, uh, that caused its damage to stack indefinitely with multiple northern techniques. They solved an issue where Dreamstone Boon's values could change randomly while in the hollow map menu. They solved an issue where some higher tier mid bosses were not dropping the correct amount of loot. They solved an issue where uh, foreboding reach, which is an augment, displayed a plus 0% bonus to rampage damage. They have improved stability issues with co-op games, thank god. They solved an issue where low level flex missions could not scale appropriately with high level players. They solved various ledge climbing issues in the water realm. They solved a missing augment constellation connection on the Hinterclaw Valor Plate. They solved an issue in the equipment menu preventing players from equipping items from your 16th item slot of the first page. They solved an issue with the skip button overlap and legibility. They solved an issue where certain trees in Crimson Glade would suffer from LOD issues. Players can no longer be interrupted by enemy AOEs when performing takedowns. They solved an issue where Nyak Windcaver's electric orb was dealing more damage than intended. They solved an issue where post-mission free roam would incorrectly scale to the highest player's level. Free Roam after completing a mission will now retain the mission's original level scaling. The Dark Crusher, which is a legendary hammer, primarily trait has been adjusted. It will no longer affect bosses. This includes mid bosses. Duration is now set to 15 seconds. Previously it was 20 seconds. The time bubble will slow enemies by 50%. Previously it was 70%. Trait text will match the effect previously displayed 30% even though it was slowing by 70. They solved an issue during the mission Tormentor's Asylum where enemies would spawn out of combat zones. They solved an issue where players could be locked out of light attacks after performing certain shield attacks. They solved an issue with monster descriptions in the Japanese localization. They solved an issue where players could crash when playing co-op against Zamora. They solved an issue with multiplayer free roam where activating multiple beacons at the same time would result in the final beacon given an incorrect amount of rewards. They solved an issue where God Beast Encore, which is a charm, would only spread poison to an enemy if it was their first time being poisoned. They solved various issues with phase nodes not activating after completing a hunt mission. Lock on target will no longer display during cutscenes. 
They solved an issue where Dublade's Northern Techniques was not scaling at stage four. Credits now properly display after finishing the campaign. They solved an issue where certain Dreamstones would not have their third activity choice displayed. They solved an issue where Siphon Skill was not available if the player had not unlocked Weapon Techniques. They solved an issue where the rank 5 breach skill bonus damage to the next charged heavy attack only applied to the first hit of a multi-strike attack. They solved an issue where the raider achievement was not unlocking properly. They solved several localization overlap issues with skill unlock notifications. They solved an issue in the tower of trials where the number of respawns could reset after completing a trial. They solved an issue in multiplayer where players with high latency could get stuck on a defeated screen, unable to respawn. They solved an issue with Warhammers receiving less bonus damage from various sources, i.e. Rampage, Polarity Attacks, Timing Attacks, and Consuming Rampage. They solved an issue where boons that give Warhammer extra damage gave less than originally shown. They solved an issue where two tips for destroying portals in the mission Shrine of the Godsmith may show up and never expire. They solved a crash while fighting Bronze Animus at the end of the Soul Shatter tutorial room. They solved an issue where multiplayer guests could select invite a friend when searching for a server delaying load times and possibly resulting in an error. They solved an issue where players quickly assessing a hollow map after loading from an intel mission would interfere with boons. They solved an issue where Dreamstone Solaris' orb target players walking into the arena before they entered combat. They solved an issue where keyboard shortcuts in the equipment menu could misplace the UI. They solved an issue where you cannot dismiss the friends list using a controller. They solved an issue where fighting Zamora for the first time in a session would cause hitches. They solved an issue where skipping the final cutscene and credits would respawn the player in the boss arena. They solved an issue where completing Shrine of the Gods Mist, where the Twilight Beacon for ending the mission disappears and selects a new one 1400 meters away. They solved an issue where Valor Plate names would not appear localized. They solved an issue where the Spirit Crystals minigame would be considered complete if all crystals entered their correct realm at least once. They solved an issue where treasure hermits would lose their knockdown immunity upon getting hit while trying to teleport away. They solved an issue in multiplayer where players who force close the game are not removed from the party nor show a disconnecting message. They solved a crash that could occur during a three player co-op game in Alluvial Plains. They solved an issue where takedown skill rank 1 and 3 were not functioning correctly against certain melee enemies. They solved an issue where players were unable to navigate the equipment submenus with their gamepad controllers. They solved an issue where players were unable to navigate their friends list with their gamepad controller. They solved an issue where players were unable to navigate the cosmetics menu with their gamepad controller. They solved an issue with Dreamstones where flex missions could advance to the next round if the timer ran out. They solved a crash that could occur when opening a menu in Sanctum with ray tracing enabled. They solved several issues with Kodak entries that would not unlock or unlock at the wrong time. They solved an issue where a player could get stuck in the Sanctum after completing a Dreamstone. They solved an issue where the clear skills button would at times not refund any skill points. They added seven items missing from the loot pool. These should now drop appropriately and keep your eyes out for that. They solved an issue where players needed to wait for the parry animation to finish before taking another action. They solved an issue where the player could not start sprinting until they caught their shield from a throw. And last but not least, they solved an issue where level up animation would interrupt camera close-ups during conversation cutscenes. Now that the general is completed, next thing I'll be going over is everything that is for the PC only. PC only. So, they solved the crash where respawning after returning to the game from another window. They solved an issue where upgrading an item without highlighter trait when using a mouse would cause the upgrade to fail or other issues. They solved an issue where the training room icons would not swap to display the current input device. They solved an issue where Alternating between controller and keyboard and mouse would cause joystick prompts to appear as debug text. And then last but not least for the PC, they improved ultra-wide resolution support. 
Yay! Next, we are going to be going over everything that they updated only for the PlayStation 5. They solved an issue where pressing the F11 key on a plugged keyboard would cause the game to hang. So if you didn't know, yes, you can plug a keyboard into the PlayStation 5. And they also solved an issue where changing a control setting in a language other than English would change most text back to English. So what does this all mean? Simple. A lot of things have been fixed in Godfall and I can highly appreciate the devs actually doing this, especially since they really, really needed it. However, I feel that this update should have been like their day one, but let us digress. Hopefully a lot of these updates that actually did happen are actual fixes and not just hey, a possible fix that may have, um, you know, done something. Now, the only thing that I actually am concerned with is the Dark Star Crusher, which is the legendary hammer, and how it will no longer affect bosses. That is ridiculous because <laughs> we depended on that to, like, slow down the bosses as well. Now it's not even going to work for them, so... The question of, should I even use this weapon be a thing anymore? And the sad part about it is I just got my very first Dark Star Crusher at level 50 today, like prior to the update. So yeah, um, I don't know how I feel about that right now. We'll see what happens and we'll see if uh, all the updates are actually true to their word. Let me know what you guys think about the update and if there's any other issues you're having after the update, go ahead and put them in the comment section below and we will go ahead and report them to the devs. That way they know what's going on. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. I will see you in the next one.